Hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we saw some of the basic design processes of designing an antenna in MATLAB, okay? We saw the radiation pattern, we saw the pattern elevation, we saw the pattern azimuth, and we saw the charge distribution also. Some of the main and deep important parameters are impedance, reflection coefficient, return loss, and VSWR of the antenna. We have to see this and we must understand this for designing a better antenna, okay? I'll tell you why we have to see all these for designing an antenna. And first of all, impedance of an antenna. You see, when an antenna is designed, it will have some input impedance. It will have input impedance always. This input impedance must be matched to the transmission line input impedance for the transmission line to transfer the power properly to the antenna. This should always be matched. So, so we must know what is the input impedance of the antenna. So, we plot the impedance for different values of frequencies. If f is a variable which contains the final frequency which is 2.4 gigahertz, okay, and this is the step size 10 megahertz. It in terms of 10 mega, megahertz, my plot will be done from 1.5. Mega, uh, gigahertz to uh, 2.4 gigahertz f is 2.4 uh, gigahertz and this it will plot from 1.5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz okay this is about the input impedance i have given the name for the figure and when we go for the reflection coefficient reflection coefficient tells you how much reflection happens from the uh, end of the uh, antenna okay we expect the reflection coefficient to be zero because we want all the power to be radiated not to be reflected back into the antenna but that this cannot actually happen because this is ideal case there will be some reflection okay so the reflection should be as low as possible so as our so as to make our uh, uh, vswr as low as possible Ref, uh, the vswr which is nothing but voltage standing wave ratio, ratio which, are, which we are going to deal here this vswr is a function of this reflection coefficient so as reflection coefficient becomes low the vswr also becomes low the vswr also should be as low as possible for a good antenna okay uh, this here uh, we are plotting as parameter okay this is a function which gives as parameters there is no nothing called as reflection coefficient it is there is something called as as parameters we are plotting as parameters because our antenna is a single port okay as parameters are usually used for multi multiple port networks where it gives s11 different coefficients such as s11 s12 s13 something like that okay but s11 s22 s33 these values and s44 so on these values will contain the reflection coefficient how much uh, uh, is reflected at the uh, other end of the uh, transmission line or an antenna Th that will be represented by this s11 here since it is a single port network s11 will be plot okay uh, plotted okay rf plot will pl it's a different kind of plot okay it will plot the s parameter okay at uh, with the different frequencies which i have already shown you from from 1.5 gigahertz to 2.4 gigahertz in terms of in in steps of 10 megahertz and this is the input impedance which i am assuming okay input imp impedance is calculated from here you can give the value here itself if you don't specify this input impedance it will take by default as 50 hertz sorry 50 ohms okay and uh, here if you go uh, this is the this represents the return loss of an antenna we must have a high return loss for an antenna what is return and what is return loss let me tell you return is the bounce back signal from the other end of the antenna okay the tip of the antenna the bounce back signal must be as low as possible so that is return return loss must be as high as possible okay that's what uh, we expect okay return loss this is a function and uh, these are the values from 1.5 
mega uh, gigahertz to uh, 2.4 gigahertz in steps of 10 megahertz as i told before and 70 is the uh, value of input impedance this is also an assumption okay and for the vswr vswr of an of an antenna uh, is a very important parameter okay as i told vswr is a function uh, of reflection coefficient it stands for voltage standing wave ratio okay and it's also called as the standing wave ratio okay and uh, it is defined as one one plus uh, reflection coefficient divided by one minus coefficient usually and uh, here you can see the vswr function uh, where you have uh, the antenna hx and 1.5 gigahertz to uh, 2.4 gigahertz and this value okay this we will plot in the um, in this code okay let me run this code and it will take some time for displaying all the different parameters okay so uh, as i told the uh, voltage standing wave ratio must be as low as possible okay it is trying to calculate for different frequency values okay okay now we have all the figures i'll close these figures because we have already seen these figures right this charge distribution also we have seen here you see this is the impedance parameter which rep this the first figure represents the the blue color represents the rea uh, the resistance as represented here and uh, the red color represents uh, the reactance okay so this entire thing is impedance the reactance is the uh, sorry resistance is the real part and reactance is the uh, imaginary part of your impedance okay this uh, value it represents so, so as you can see from this 1.8 gigahertz to this 2.4 gigahertz its uh, impedance is almost constant and here in this region the impedance is varying a lot okay you cannot use uh, the antenna in this region it will be varying a lot you cannot it, it is not that stable so that is specified by that thing and uh, we will go one by one and reflection coefficient as you see this reflection coefficient um, we should have a low reflection coefficient okay to get uh, a high sorry a low vswr in this region we, uh, reflection coefficient is uh, low as you can see this is uh, represented in terms of db these are not actually minus values these are minus minus 7 db minus 8 db okay this will be some 10 power minus 8 divided by uh, 10 that is uh, different values okay you can this will be 0. 0.0 something it will be okay uh, this has least value at 2.4 gigahertz as you can see so th in this region it can be uh, a very good uh, antenna okay so this is how you can select okay uh, reflection coefficient we saw and uh, uh, return loss okay the re return loss must be maximum because we need return to be minimum okay return is nothing but the bounce back signal as i told here is the return loss which is maximum okay maximum return loss we can see here okay uh, and here the it, it goes on decreasing and in this region also it, it is good but here it is uh, very small so we have to choose the frequency of the antenna uh, such that uh, there is uh, the return loss is uh, maximum okay and uh, the reflection coefficient is minimum and vswr is as minimum as possible here also you can see vswr in this region 1.8 to 2.4 gigahertz it is minimum but it is not uh, the ideal value of vswr must be actually one but it will not be one because um, it will have some reflections always okay so this is how it is i zoomed in and saw you uh, showed you okay that's it this is how we can see the different uh, uh, parameters and uh, design antenna depending on the um, values which we saw and wherever the vswr is minimum the reflection coefficient is minimum and the return loss is maximum there in that region of frequency we have to use the uh, antenna and uh, bandwidth of an antenna can be uh, uh, seen
see bandwidth uh, is the describes the range of frequencies over which the antenna can properly radiate or receive energy okay the antenna bandwidth is usually uh, frequency band over which the magnitude of the reflection coefficient is below minus 10 db or the magnitude of the return loss is greater than 10 db if you see those values if you so see those figures in that you have to see look into the region where the return loss is greater than 10 db or uh, uh, the vs uh, the sorry the reflection coefficient is minus 10 um, db there you have to see the uh, the bandwidth okay that is how you will come to know what is the bandwidth of the antenna that's it thank you